Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 15th of 2019 was well, a long storm system on Saturn. So what do we see here? Well, towards the top of the image, we see a great storm system spreading across the planet. And this was studied by the Cassini spacecraft when it first formed in 2010. And the uh, Cassini spacecraft at that time was orbiting. Of course, now the Cassini mission has ended and the craft itself has plunged into the atmosphere of Saturn. But studying storms on other planets can certainly help us understand how these things work on Earth as well. We can see things on a much grander scale in this case. And in here, this is a storm that started out when we first noticed it about the size of the Earth and then spread across the entire planet. So it's met across that entire region at that latitude. Now, the different latitudes, higher uh, higher and lower colors, brighter and fainter colors, uh, are higher and low pressure systems that stretch across the planet. Much as we get individual high and low pressure systems here on Earth, the extremely rapid rotation of these uh, planets like Jupiter and Saturn cause these to be stretched across the planet. So it tends to confine the storm a little bit more than we have here on Earth. And the storms also last longer. This one lasted about six months and circled the planet until it caught back up to itself. And that's what seemed to cause it to fade away. So it lasted longer than storms typically do here on Earth. When storms last maybe a couple, a few weeks to a month or two, out uh, here the storm lasted easily six months, so much longer. And we're used to seeing that on some of these larger planets, uh, including the case of Jupiter and the Great Red Spot, which has been there for hundreds of years. And even though it is currently fading, it is still uh, something that we can study and hopefully learn something about how storms progress on other worlds, which may help us to better understand how they work on our own. Now we can also see down below the rings of Saturn here and the darker areas are actually the shadows of the rings and the rings as the sunlight passes through the ring material each individual particle will cast a shadow and there are so many of those particles we can see a solid uh, blanking out of the material the solid shadow of this here. We can also see some of the gaps in the rings lighter areas where more light is able to get through. So some of the some of the rings are very dense have a lot of material a lot of particles and other ones have far fewer particles letting some sunlight through and allowing us to see some of the patterns and structures of the rings here shadowed against the ringed planet Saturn. So that was our picture of the day for September the 15th of 2019. It was titled A Long Storm System on Saturn. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Quantum Moon. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.